Good day crew and welcome to this week's video. I did have a topic in mind for this week's video, but, but the job I've got isn't going quite as quickly as I hoped it would. In fact, I'm not even sure I'm going to be able to get a video out next week. But I did have time to do this short video and I thought the topic is worth looking at because I will set my drags before I go out fishing. I like to have them accurate. Then I back them off a couple of turns so they're not sitting there with the drag compressed. And when I get out in the boat, I turn them up those two turns so they're back to the setting that I put on them. Alternately, if I have time, I do the setting the night before I go out and just leave them ready to fish. Just depends how I'm set for time that week. Anyway, let's jump into this video. This is the proper sort of scales you want for determining what your drag setting is on your line. As you pull out your line, measures a drag but the thing about these is that it leaves this pointer here when you're finished so you can see that you had exactly 20 pounds or just under nine kilos of drag on that i'll show you how it works on the rod itself later on this is a proper one so i haven't had a set of these for a long time so i just got a set of these and they'll make setting the drag and line a little bit easier so just make sure you reset it each time you use it. And if you've got a hook on the line, make sure you stay out of the way just in case anything breaks or flies up. And here we go. Got the rod up there. Nice steady pull down. And there goes the drag. And that is at 10 pounds. That is on a 40 pound line, so that's 25% or 25 to 33% is fine. I'll just reset that. Give that another little touch and let's see how we go up that. What have we got there? 11 pounds, so it's 11 pounds out of 40, that's near enough. And uh, Therese's rod, this is... Okay one of my favourite rods but really plastic locking nuts on it that aren't all that good for what you pay for a dredge rod I would have thought you'd get aluminium okay same deal on all these other rods back it off a bit so we can get something out and then put it up on say full Make sure your case lock swivel is locked, the scales are reset, and here we go. We've got 80 pound line on this, so we're looking for about 20. And we have 18. I suppose we could give it just a touch more. I've done a video on this before, but to change the drag on a lever drag rod you have to back the lever right off into free spill give that knob a bit of a twist then put it back up to measure it reset that even that tiny little twist I gave it has put that up to 22 and a half, which is all I'm going to go on it. That's plenty. The beauty of the lever drag is, of course, that you don't have to have it on full. You can back it off a bit, say halfway. And once you back it off halfway, it's, it's going to be a lot more than half the drag, but we'll just measure it and see what we've got there. Okay, so that brought it down to 15 pounds to drag on a halfway setting. Just so you've got a bit of an idea of where to set the lever if you want to, if you want to get a bit of a lighter drag on it. Ooh. Oh, I think I might need to replace this. Well, I definitely do need to replace this leader on this. Alright, that rod's going to have to go up for some repairs and replace the leader. 
It's got a bit of scuffing on it, so that's no good. Drag up full, barrels reset, here we go. What have we got on there? 20, 22 exactly. That will do. That is good. Well, everyone talks about Shimano, but I did, I like these pen reels. The pen would be my favourite reel. But the Shimano backbone elite rod is very nice with it. Well, that's it. As I said, short and sweet. These scales really are great for setting the drag on your line because they have that pointer that stays in place at the maximum value. Makes it a lot easier than trying to look at what the scales read as a maximum while you were pulling it. I did that for a while before I had these, but these do make it that much easier. I'll put a link in the video description. If you want some, you can go to that link and get some. And as I said next week, I'm not sure if I'll even get a video out next week because I am really under the pump to get this job finished. But if I can, I will. Until then, good fishing.